all our apprenticeships work well. We've got like a almost friendship and family community within the workplace. It's a nice place to be. Before working here, I worked in a shop and a few of the people that I used to serve worked here and they knew I wanted to get into the motor industry and they said we have an apprenticeship opening, put your name forward, they backed me up and here I am three years later. We currently offer various training roles, we willingly accept applications and monitor everyone on their, on their merits and uh, we'll tailor training towards them if, if need to be. I started my apprenticeship at First Bus based in Leeds. I completed the first two years there, but I was living in Hull, so commuting to Leeds every day. And then an opportunity came up at East Yorkshire, so I've recently come to work here and started my third year here. Upon recruitment, they have a, a skills test, so they'll compete against each other, comparing one another's abilities. And rather than just thinking, oh, that's the only job, they're actually inspired and they want to learn and, and, and progress to become the best. My current activities are to inspect buses and make sure they are PSV standard. I'm like the last stop saloon. You know, if the buses aren't right to go out, then they don't go out. It's sort of up to me and the rest of the people in PSV to make sure the buses are safe for passengers. She'll inspect vehicles for MOT prep. And she'll also complete the works so the vehicles are ready and prepped for MOT, which is good for an apprentice. So it could be anything from replacing headlight bulbs to ramp wiring. Every safety feature on the bus we need to test is operational and if not, repair. Just everything to keep the buses safe and on the road. I love my job because it is just a giant puzzle. I grew up playing Lego and it's genuinely like a giant Lego set. It's just all the bits come together. It's so difficult to explain, but it is so much fun and it's literally just nuts and bolts. It's just big Lego pieces. I learn better when I'm doing something than being told something, I think. And I just like the chance to try and figure out how to repair something. They do have a sense of pride. They know that what they do just reflects within the community. I've seen you know, the buses are running, they're all smart, tidy, on time and not breaking down. They know they've had a, a good positive input into that. There is a final audit where either me or the other fitters have missed anything. The supervisor will go over and check. And to be fair, nine times out of ten, it's only silly little things that I miss. So I am getting there. I'm, I'm getting there. My focus currently is to get my qualification, which I'm about maybe a year and a half off. Once I'm qualified, I'll look at other opportunities and progress in within the company. A lot of these companies are led by men, and I'd like to change that. I think that'd be interesting. Let's see how things are run with a different perspective. You know, I'd love to potentially move up in the company. I'd love to see more diversity. I would love to make an impact on the industry in some way or another. The industry is short of engineers and providing a, a decent, well-established apprenticeship is key to finding the resources we need to fulfil the requirements of the industry. The apprenticeship scheme is a great opportunity for jobs like this where it's more hands-on. There's only so much you can learn in a classroom and this is a route that you can take where you earn while you're learning instead of getting into debt through uni and things like that. They've got different levels of maturity and you see that develop throughout the working life here. It's like watching people blossom and you know, it's surprising and impressive.